This is the Venture EDC pouch from the company Lockbe. I've been using this now for six weeks daily, and I'm ready to give you my thoughts on it. If you're interested, keep watching. So the company Lockbe did reach out to me and invited me to take a look at their products to see if there was something I might like to review. When I looked through their products, there were a lot of things I thought I'd like to own, but I did settle in on the Venture EDC pouch because at that time I actually had been looking for something that I could use to take all of the small things that I normally put in my backpack somewhere and kind of collect them into one spot and organize them for use. You know, the small things that you would probably put in pockets and maybe lose or drop to the bottom of the bag. That's what I was looking for. But when the pouch arrived, I decided I was going to try this as an everyday carry pouch that I could wear around the city or carry with me around the city for all the things I have in it right now, which I will show you in a minute. But in looking at some of the other products that Lockby had to offer, I was impressed and actually I'm probably going to go back and take another look and see if I can't purchase one or two more of them. And I think you will be impressed as well. So what I thought we'd do is just go down to the tabletop. I'm going to empty out the pouch so I can show you in detail the pouch itself. But I do want to show you what I'm carrying in it and just to give you an idea of, of what you can use this pouch for. All right, let's get started. Now, before we take a closer look at the Venture pouch, I do want to talk about the company Lockbe just for a moment, because I think it's worthwhile knowing a little bit about them. Now, I would say briefly, because there is much more that you can gain an understanding of from their website, as well as obviously take a look at the other products they have for offer. So the company is US-based. Some of the designs were done in Canada, the rest in the United States. A lot of the production is from Vietnam to a very high exacting standards and that's for sure one of the hallmarks is just how much attention they pay to the construction of their products. So this is the Venture pouch. Now I referred to it as an EDC pouch. I added that in. It's not necessarily referred to as EDC or everyday carry pouch by the company Lockby, and that wasn't going to be my long-term use for it so because I as I mentioned in the opening I wanted this for carry in the woods. But in the testing, I found it actually works well as an EDC pouch. And we'll talk to what I mean by that in a moment. So a couple of things about this right off the top. It's construction. It obviously has a nice vintage look, doesn't it? And that's for a reason. This is made of a very high quality canvas, waxed canvas, in fact. In fact, I, I actually questioned whether or not it was canvas because it feels so good, like it feels super tough. It looks like a Kadura nylon. But I did reach out to the company and they confirmed that it is made from a cotton canvas and has been waxed for water resistance. I hesitate to say waterproof because I don't know that anything with seams can necessarily be waterproof but just the same it's certainly water resistant and the nice thing is it's starting to take on that vintage look that wax canvas items do and they can be re-waxed. I have some waxing that I use for on my canvas products that I will be putting on this and and heating into it so it does have that nice classic look which goes along with the outdoor theme again that's part of what uh, attracted me to this. Now, I'll go over the specifications only in brief because, as always, it'll be in the video description. So, the overall dimensions are nine inches this length, four and three quarter in this length, and two inches in this dimension. The weight of the package empty is five and a half ounces. So, it's very nice and lightweight. Now, the, I'm just going to go through the design first on the outside, then on the inside. So what you can see is at either end of the pouch, there are heavy-duty nylon D-rings. They came in handy, and I'll tell you how I used them in a moment. And a folded-over nylon strap as a carry handle. So the pouch itself is actually divided into two sides. So there are two zippered areas. So I it, it, And this is going to be something that you'll have to decide for yourself, is how you're going to use each of these pouches. I'll show you in a moment how I used them, but let me just show you. First off, one side has just a simple open pouch, as you can see. Oh, by the way, one of the nice things I found about this is the liner material. They did it right. They used a nice color, very complimentary to the brown waxed canvas. It has a honeycomb type of a ripstop texture to it or, or uh, construction to it. And the value of having that lighter color is it makes things it makes it so much easier to see what's down inside the bag when you open it up. So that's the basic uh, one side of the bag. Now inside of that bag there is a divider. So the divider 
is actually right there in the center, as you can see. That divider is the pouch for the other side. You'll understand what I mean in a minute. I also want to point out a couple of things here. All of the seams have a heavy nylon webbing over them for extra strength, so there is no uh, naked ends to the material, so it is very tough and very durable in that sense. The other thing that this side of the pouch has is these two little mesh pockets which are held closed by a little piece of Velcro. You, you decide what it is you want to put in there, anything from change, maybe medications, I don't know, whatever it is that you think you might like to. Again, I'll show you what I used it for in a moment. Now, if I close that side of the bag up and flip it upside down, this pouch is much larger. Twin zippers, and the bag opens up almost completely flat. Well, you can't flatten it open. Now, remember, this pouch is that divider on the other side. So that's how this is organized. So once again, it has the same nylon, nice golden colored nylon material. So you can see very quickly what you have inside of your pouch. There are two elasticized holders here and three on this side. So this is what forms the entire pouch. Now, it's not huge, but you can get a lot of stuff in this, impressive amount of stuff that you can get in this in a nice organized fashion. It's not just an open pouch where you dump everything inside. You can kind of segregate and organize the way you want it set up. So now I'm going to point out again what these, these nylon rings, because part of my testing involved, well, uh, you know, how was I going to carry this every day? It's not something I wanted to carry in my hand. You can, absolutely. If that's how you like to carry your EDC pouch, then you can certainly carry it in your hand. It has that little grab handle, has made it very easy to carry around. But I decided I'd make use of these rings and actually put a nylon shoulder strap on it that I could carry it as a crossbody bag. That worked out really well. Then, of course, my hands are free. Now, I added the strap that I had from a water bottle, in fact, and I'll show it to you in a minute. But when I asked Lockby if they had any plans to offer one for sale, and they say, stay tuned, we have one coming. So if you're interested in purchasing this bag, and using it as a crossbody pouch as I did, then you may well want to pick up that strap. Hopefully by the time you see this video, that'll be available for sale. I think it'd make a nice addition to this. Okay, so how did I use this bag? As I mentioned, primarily crossbody. So what I wanted to do was to decide where I was going to put the things that I'd probably access most often. And I decided that the simpler pouch would be that where that was. So what did I put in there? My wallet that went on one side of the divider. My cell phone went in on the other side of the divider. Now, I didn't make use of the little uh, mesh pockets, but I think if I were to you make use of that, that's probably where I'd put in a few coins. I don't carry a lot of cash on me, so but if I wanted to, just to keep the coins from moving around the side of the bag, that's probably where I would put them. And the other thing I carried in the pouch was my reading glasses, just a pair of simple reading glasses. All right, so that all went in there nice and easy. And those are the ones that I access most often. So I'm wearing this crossbody. This is the one that's up, so I can get in it easy enough. Now, on the other side, though, this is where everything else goes. And I had more than enough room. Now, you're going to have to play around, decide what it is you want to carry, and if it's you know enough, if you have enough space for it. So these are things that I wouldn't access on a regular basis, but you wanted to get access to occasionally. So here we have these pouches. So here's where I started. I started with a pocket knife. No surprise there, right? Now, this pocket knife for the testing purposes is one I've had for quite a while. It's an NLAN, and it could be any pocket knife, but I chose this one because it's nice and slim and has wood, you know, just to kind of complement the going with the bag. And the next thing that I put in there was a little EDC flashlight from uh, Through Night that went in very nicely as well. And then on the other side, a lip gloss. Yeah, well, it's still summertime here, so I just wanted to make sure that I had a lip gloss in there. Not a lip gloss, that's not the right word for it. Lip protector, that's a better word for it. And there's something that I carry every, every, every day, which is my Leatherman Squirt PS4. Nice little EDC. You know, you could si use a full-sized Leatherman in one side or the other if you wanted to. So, you know, you have some choices here. Now, I have a little dangle chain that I attached around my belt loop in my pants and I carry this in the watch pocket on a pair of jeans. So I, you know, that's why this is on here. And this leads me to one point I'd like to make. Nowhere inside the bag is there a D-ring where you may want to hang either this 
or maybe a set of keys. Now you can still attach the keys to the bag, but not inside either side of the pouch. So there is how I put it all together. Let me zipper that up. Now there is still a little bit of space, but I'm not looking to overload the bag. You can see there's still some space inside if I needed to get something else in. But that space kind of works against you because you can actually stuff this to a point where you're thinking, you know, do I really want to carry all the, that way? So this may be kind of minimalist as an EDC bag in my terms. You know, maybe you have other things you want to put in there as well or different than mine. That makes perfect sense. This is just the way I like to set it up. Now, what I want to do is just show you quickly how I attach the strap to this. And I will stand up and show you what it looks like wearing it crossbody. Put it on one side. All right, now I'll just reposition the camera and I'll show you how I carry this on, on an everyday basis. All right, I put the bag across my shoulder like I would carry this if I was going anywhere, really, out to a restaurant, out shopping, or just even for a walk around the neighborhood. This is the way I would carry this bag. Now, I could also just sling it around the back and get it out of the way if I wanted to as well. This may not be your thing. You may not like carrying a bag across your body, and some people do, some people don't. I prefer doing this because it leaves me hands-free and keeps all of that stuff out of my pockets, which, you know, when you actually add it up, it does start, start to drag down on you. So it's nice to have them carry, like, be able to carry it like this. Now, again, you don't have to use a shoulder strap. You can just carry this in hand. Maybe it would have been nice had there been a belt loop on this for people who like to attach things like a bag like this directly to their belt. You know, well, that's something you may consider. You could use the ring, the little grab handle here, and a carabiner, attach it to your belt that way. That's another option. And the last thing I'll show you, of course, is because I didn't show it to you yet, my keys. So obviously my keys, even another little flashlight on my keys. All of that was, I was able to, or am able, and do do this, attach it to one of the D-rings, and then it's, there it is. So that's how I use this bag. That's how I have been using it. Now, I am going to start using this out in the woods more often, and I just have to decide what things I want to put in here that are the ones that kind of disappear around inside of your pack. Things like, obviously, another Leatherman, or maybe not this one, but a full-size Leatherman, a sharpening stone, a, like a, my uh, Falkneven DC4, something like that will go in there. Spare pair of reading glasses, you can't afford not to have those. So the types of things that would disappear into your bag if you're not careful. I could also turn this into a nice fire kit. I think there's enough room in there for all the materials that you would want in a good fire kit, a good size fire kit, maybe even more room than you probably need. So this wouldn't be a bad use for that as well. So maybe that's what I'll open it up. What would you use the Venture for if you owned one of these Venture pouches? I think it, you know, there's the, your imagination really is the limit. I'm going to encourage you to go have a look at their website because even though I chose this, there were a few other items that maybe I wished I had as well. And uh, who knows, I may go back and purchase. They have a great journal. They have a full-size field note journal as well as a small journal. They have uh, what they call a tool roll. I think they're primarily meant for pens and other EDC type things. Uh, yeah, they have a few items you may want to look at. And I think this is just the start of the things that you'll see offered by the company Lockbee. Vintage look, high quality construction. It's just nice. It's a little bit different than a lot of the things we see on the market today made out of nylon. Not that I don't like that. This is just offers a vintage look, a different nostalgic look, which I think still looks very classy and is still very functional. Okay, that's everything I have to say about the Venture Pouch from Lockbee. If you have any comments or questions, put them in the comments section. The links to where you can take a look at this pouch and their other products at Lockbee will be in the video description. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.